General Atomics has had a long history with uh, AFSOC and SOCOM, about 20 years. The past 10 years with the MQ-9. A2E, Adaptive Airborne Enterprise, has been a concept that came up out of AFSOC in order to try to get from one to one, as far as one person to one aircraft, to one person to many aircraft. So in December, they wanted to demonstrate capability to go from that one to many. And what we were able to do, partnering with them, is fly three aircraft, as far as three MQ-9s at one time, at one ground control station. <clears throat> so they were able to develop a, a government-owned ground control station. It's known as ARCS, that's AFSOC RPA Control Suite. <clears throat> and they're able to fly multiple aircraft. So they're working right now with MQ-9s, and then eventually they're gonna bring in a bunch of smalls and be able to fly multiple smalls of various sizes. AFSOC has recently acquired three MQ-9Bs. They're, they're actually being production now and coming off the assembly line. And we believe that's a great opportunity to move in. So our MQ-9Bs have sold internationally with multiple countries, and that is moving into modernized for all weather certified capability to fly with these more modernized MQ-9 capability. We're making several improvements as far as the survivability of MQ-9. It's been a topic of late uh, over several years. So there are two main areas that we're really proud of moving forward. One is working with small businesses, particularly in this case, Shift 5. They're a new company that offers great innovative type of capability. What they're able to do is look for anomalies over our data streams of our aircraft and, and back to the GCS. And with that, they can detect those anomalies and then whether it's maintenance or nefarious type of capability. So we can do something about that when we uh, detect it. ABAD is our airspace battle space awareness and, and uh, defense capability that we have. We're partnering with BAE and with Leonardo DRS that is allowing us to find and track any type of threats that are on the ground and be able to disseminate those threats, whether it's IR or RF. And then we have some defensive capabilities in order to mitigate those threats, at least in time to get the mission done and then to return home. We're looking forward to getting that out in the field and demonstrating that capability for survivability.